During the Tang Dynasty, on the 14th day of the fourth month in the 14th year of Zheng Yuan, an extraordinary fragrance and heavenly music filled the air. A solitary white crane descended from the heavens and landed by a woman's bed. A boy was born. This boy later became known as Lu Dongbin, one of the eight Taoist immortals. Lu Dongbin was intelligent and good at poetry. As the son of a government official, he had to follow his parents' wish. So young Lu went to Chang'an for the imperial government examinations. While strolling along the streets of Chang'an, Lu noticed a Taoist writing a poem on the wall. He marveled at the poetic quality, the elegance of the stranger, and paid his respects. The Taoist asked Lu Dongbin to write a poem himself. So Lu wrote, "I was born in a family of Confucian scholars in a period of peace. I find the garments of a government official too heavy and prefer peasant's clothes. What is the meaning of pursuing, striving for fame and wealth? There is the heavenly sovereign in the palace of heaven to serve." This Taoist was Zhong Li Quan. One of the three leaders of the Eight Immortals, seeing Lu's wish to cultivate the Dao, Zhong Li invited him to the mountains to cultivate the Dao with him. But Lu turned him down. Later at an inn, while Zhong Li was cooking yellow millet, Lu Dongbin fell asleep and had a dream. In the dream, eighteen years went by. Lu passed the imperial examination with the highest score, obtained a high government position, and then became the prime minister. He got married, had children and servants, but his life took a drastic change. He was betrayed and lost everything, including his family and property, and was left wandering in poverty and solitude. Regretting his life, Lu woke up. The millet was still cooking. Zhong Li smiled and chanted, "While the millet is still cooking in the pot, you have completed your life in a dream." Lu Dongbin then abandoned his life as a Confucian scholar and agreed to follow Zhong Li to embrace the secluded life of cultivation. Lu had to endure ten tests before Zhong Li took him as a disciple. Each of the tests involved loss of worldly, material, and personal gain, and letting go of the ordinary human attachments to feelings. In one test, Lu protected his sheep and fearlessly confronted a hungry tiger. In another, he resisted the temptation as a young beauty tried to seduce him. In the last test, Lu was willing to die to repay a debt from his past life. With righteous thoughts, Lu Dongbing passed all the tests. Zhong Li then taught Lu the true and genuine secrets of the Tao. Later, Zhong Li left the human realm, riding on the clouds. One story has it that Zhong Li told Lu that if he kept practicing the Tao, he too would be able to fly to heaven. But Lu responded, saying he would like to save all the sentient beings on Earth before he flies to heaven. Lu traveled south to the source of the river Li and met Zhu Rong, the supreme Taoist at Da Long, who taught him the swordsmanship of Tian Dun. He gave Lu Dongbin a sword, which he used to eliminate demons. Legend says that Lu Dongbin made appearances in the human world for over 400 years. He slayed demons with his sword and helped others to learn the Tao. Lu often traveled between the mountainous and swampy areas in the provinces of Hunan and Hubei, near the source of the Yangtze River and the Huai River. Later, Zhong Li returned, saying Lu Dongbin's name had been added to the registry of immortals at the Heavenly Palace. Today, Lu is known as one of the eight famous Taoist immortals. His poems were collected in the Quan Tang Shi, the complete collection of Tang poetry.